Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, I hope you are all doing well, look at that, I have a smile, why? Because we will not speak about the actual Juventus on the field, we will speak about something totally different and I'm super happy you already guessed what we will speak about because you saw the thumbnail, you saw the title, <coughs> FIFA 23 ratings of Juventus, I am super happy, not only that, I will speak about the top 10, is there a player of Juve that entered that top 10 ratings? Mm -hmm. Who? Pogba, Vlaovic, uh, Chiesa, I don't know, I don't know, we'll discover them together, I already prepared it, so we see Mbappé, of course, we'll go to the top 10, not only that, the best players of Serie A, who is the best player of Serie A, is it a player of Juve or is it someone else, and then of course we'll go to the 15 players that were already revealed from Juventus today, we will go and rate them, rate them, we'll check the ratings and we'll see if we agree or not, I have to reveal you a secret, even if I bought the last FIFA, I didn't play a lot, why, because I was pissed off that Juventus was not partnered of FIFA, so that means that we were playing with uh, Piemonte Calcio, I didn't like that um, a lot, so I prefer not to play a lot, I was not really involved in FIFA Ultimate Team, my son played, my son played, and he's starting to be a really an expert, I didn't, so I can't tell you a lot about is it fair or not, I know that the pace is the most important thing, but from the moment that I will purchase it, I will start playing again, and career mode, and FIFA Ultimate Team, we start immediately after all that waiting with the FIFA ratings, before that, of course, of course, of course, don't forget to put a maximum of like, subscribe to the channel, andiamo ragazzi, so we start immediately with the Top 10, if we go, we have a big list of players, we have to stop at a player that is called Neymar Jr. Because Neymar Jr. is not in the top 10 anymore of FIFA 23, that's the first big surprise, he lost 2 points in terms of rating, he was rated 91 last year, he went into a 91, it's true that Neymar didn't do a really great phenomenal season, we know it, losing uh, 2 points is strange, because this year he started really well, strange, he's 11th in that ranking, so we go to the other one, the second one, or the number 10, it's Manuel Neuer, I don't want to speak a lot about Manuel Neuer, because you know that every time the people are telling me he is better than Buffon, mm. eh, I don't like that, I really don't like that, so for him he's losing one point, hopefully he can lose even more in the future, anyway he's a really great goalkeeper, but I'm happy that I see that Thibaut Courtois is over better than Neuer, for me he would deserve more than being equal, because he's a bit better uh, in other ratings, but the overall rating is 90 like Neuer, I don't agree, I want your opinion about who's better, Courtois or Neuer, I wanna know, then number 9, Cristiano, number 8, Cristiano Ronaldo, mm. he's not in the top 3, he's not in the top 5, he will be pissed off, eh, the age, age is counting for everyone, we'll go to the Juve players, maybe, in the top 10, otherwise we will see them a bit later, number 7 for Virgil van Dijk, he increased with 1 point from 81 to 90, I don't know what to say, Mohamed Salah, he increased with 1 point, he went also to 90, top 6, and now we go to the top 5 with Lionel Messi, not in the top 3, he is in the top 5, a disaster season last year, and you see it also with the ratings, decreasing with 2 points, he was at 93, he's not anymore on the cover of FIFA since a few years, and now we start also him losing points, when we saw Cristiano Ronaldo losing 1, he lost 2, and then Kevin De Bruyne, top 4, he lost nothing, he was at 91, he's still at 91, he lost 2 points in terms of pace, we know how important pace is in football, will we be able to play with a really great Kevin De Bruyne in FIFA 23, let's see how he will respond on the field, Kylian Mbappé that is on the cover of uh, FIFA, official player for FIFA 23, he's only in the top 3, that means that Kylian Mbappé is not anymore the number 1, but he's now at 91 points, because a lot of players have 91, you see it, eh? Messi, Lebrun, and Mbappé, 91, he's third on that podium, number 2 for Robert Lewandowski, eh, Lewandowski, even if he's not able to score versus smaller team, he's still there uh, in the top 2, because he did a really great season, even if he was not able to win the Ballon d'Or, speaking about Ballon d'Or, the number 1, and we put it a bit bigger, is Karim Benzema, Karim! 
team, Karim Benzema, that is number one, and I believe it's totally deserved. He won two points rating, he was at 89, and he went to 91. Karim Benzema that won in nearly every single one. We go immediately, without transition, to the best of, um, of, uh, of Serie A, because we didn't see any Juve player. Actually, to be honest, I didn't see any Serie A player. So we see here that we start with two players that are not on the podium of the best of Serie A. It's Leao with 84. Leonardo Bonucci, first Juve player in that list of best players of uh, Serie A with 84. Disaster pace, 54. Reality or not, if I remember some games... Guys, uh, maybe I have to agree that uh, 54 is a correct rating in terms of pace. 84, what is his best skills? The defensive skills with 85. Uh, disaster. Disaster. We go to the sec to the two other ones. Bastoni, 84. Tomori, 84. Big entry for Tomori from Milan. And I believe it's totally deserved. Uh, Akan Chanaloglu, 84. And then Di Maria that lost some ratings versus last year. We don't understand why he was uh, actually dropped some points. Maybe because of the politics going from Paris Saint-Germain to Juventus. Uh, you are paying the tax of Paris Saint-Germain. 84 for him. 79 in terms of uh, pace. That's true, that's his true, best man. skills are the passing skills with 84, but especially the dribbling with 87. Let's see if I can perform more than this 84 rating. Because if I understand that Leonardo Bonucci has 84 and I see that Di Maria 84, I don't know. Let's see if we have other Juve players there. Yes, we have. With Federico Chiesa. Pace 91, one of the best left wingers, it's particular choice also from FIFA to rate Federico Chiesa as a left winger and not anymore on the right. Let's see when he will come back to Juve physically in real life if he will play on the left or on the right with Allegri. Let's see. And then 84 for Pellegrini uh, from Roma. Pellegrini, that's one of the most important men here. Will we have other players from Juve? Yes, but still at 84, Tonali and then Dusan. Vlahovic, a big increase from Dusan with a pace of 80, 78 of dribble, maybe a lot, 78 if we are really honest, shot 85, that's the best skills of Dusan, I'm really happy for Dusan that he is in that rating of 84 and hopefully he can increase even more for next year. We have Filip Kostic with an 85, surprise to see Filip Kostic, one of the biggest players of Juve, Next to Pogba with the same rating, well, Filip Kostic, I believe that he is receiving all the awards from last year being the best assist man in Bundesliga this season already. Three, uh, three assists for Filip Kostic. 80, 82 in terms of dribble, 82 in terms of pass, 84 in terms of pace. It's a beautiful card. We need to see that card also on the field for Philip. And then Paul Pogba, 85. I want to tell you more about that card, but the problem is that we didn't see Paul Pogba yet on the field with Juventus. So really difficult to judge for us. 85, losing pace here with 67. It will not be a really beautiful... Uh, I don't believe it will be a really beautiful midfield for Juventus with a really low pace except of Kostic and probably another player. We see that Hernandez has an 85 and Chesney with an 86. The goalkeepers are always rated a bit more, of course, otherwise it will be every time 10 to 10. Beautiful Calcio Champagne, but the goalkeeper, they deserve a bit more. We go to the other players, Skriniar, Brozovic, 86, 86, 86 for Barella. So Inter receive a lot of great scores. Milinkovic Savic with an 86, with a beautiful note in terms of Shots 80, 82 for passes, 82 for dribbles. I would have loved to have uh, Milinkovic Savic at Juventus. You know it, guys. Huh? We go towards the number five Lukaku disaster. I know I totally don't agree with Lukaku with the number 85. 86 for Immobile. That is number four. Who are the number three, number two, and number one? We go with Paolo Dybala. That is number three in Serie A ratings with the 86. The same as the other Argentinian player from Inter. 86. A lot of high scores for Inter. This is starting to annoy me. Who is the best player from Serie A? We see it. It is Mike Magnon, the goalkeeper of Milan with an 87. Great score. Beautiful score. Probably deserve. Yes. So what I want to do now is going to the 15 players from Juventus that are known at the moment. So we have to go on that screen where we see the 86. The best player is Chesney in terms of goalkeeper. The best field player from Juventus is an 85 with Pogba. And... Uh, 
even FIFA is saying you are missing one of your biggest stars. Followed by Filip Kostic, a bit too high if we are looking at our other players. What is worrying me a lot is the fact that our players, if we are looking at only the dribbling stats, it's quite low. The pace stat is quite low and this is what we are seeing on the field, unfortunately. We already spoke about the biggest one. Who are the other ones that we didn't mention yet? Quadrado with the 83 with a really beautiful pace with 90. Then we see... Bremer entering Juventus, 83 for him, followed by Locatelli with the 82, beautiful progression from Manuel, followed by Danilo with the 80, 80 also for Adrian Rabiot, Paredes with the 80, hopefully he can deserve a bit more for next year because he is the brain, he is the important uh, player, the fuel for Juventus, the one that will orchestrate that midfield only with the 80. I don't believe it's enough, especially if we are looking at that top 10 of overall ratings from the other European teams. And the last two that enter here is Weston McKennie with an 80, 79 for Milik. This is a scandal. Scandal for Milik. He deserved at least an 82, but this is what we saw in the beginning of the season. These are the players of Juventus, top 15. We know already that all the players received their score, like Moise Keane, 78. If I'm not wrong, we are waiting for the final list. So what I'm asking you guys is, do you want me to see play? Do you want to see me playing on FIFA when it will come out end of September? Do we have to start with Juve? Do we have to take a lower team and, gr and grow up in career mode? Do you prefer to see me opening some packs with FIFA Ultimate Team? Let me know and we'll probably open again the Twitch channel that I started playing yesterday fallout guys foul guys and so on i want to know your opinion it was a lighter video a video that i'm happy to do because i can speak again with some tempo i can speak with a smile but anyway we are always speaking about juventus fifa or real life it is always about juventus grazie forza fifa forza juventus